So welcome back to another FIFA 19 career mode video. Today we're taking a look at the things that don't make sense. I've got a few new clips to show you today. Remember, if you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up for me. Let's get to 1,000 likes. And if you're new around here and you want to see more of this series, hit the subscribe button today and the notification bell, and you won't miss anything. Today's sponsor is Loot Crate. Now, they're a monthly subscription service which sends you many exclusive items based on different kinds of themes. I was recently sent the Loot Gaming Crate to unbox today, and I'm going to show you what I received. So this is the Loot Gaming Box. It holds everything in there nicely packed as well. And it features maybe four to six items every month. In my case, I got six items for February. So let's take a look at them. The first item I received was a Loot Gaming Gallagher Collector's Pin. The second item was an exclusive Gears of War blanket, which is going to be useful for me in winter. The third item was an exclusive Halo Spartan T-shirt. The fourth item was a Gallagher Tote Bag as well. And the fifth item was a Loot Crate Mass Effect calendar for 2019 and my last item in the box was a Mass Effect poster So every month you're gonna receive new items if you subscribe to any of these loot crate services So use my affiliate link in the description check out the site see what you like So if you're interested in signing up make sure you use my 10% discount code Vapex Karma as well to save you some money And I hope you pick up a loot crate for yourself so we're back into the video now. Each sponsor does help support the channel, so that's why I have to have the sponsors. But we're going to start with a thing by Adam. He says, when you extend contracts for a player that has one year left, his contract doesn't actually extend. And this is something that I found as well. You can't extend contracts because the game actually treats it as a new deal instead of like an extension. So we're going to take a look at an example right now. So we're going to use Saul for this uh, example here. You can see he's got eight years on his contract at the moment with Atletico Madrid. But let's say... I wanted to add some extra years to him. So we're going to go to a contract negotiation. I want to put maybe three to four years on it. Maybe we can get him up to 12 years. So we offer him the crucial role here. Everything's going along nicely. And uh, let's see if we can add some more years. So we'll try one year. He'll probably say no to that. He wants a four-year deal. So that's what we were looking for at the start. So I'll, I'll accept that, you know. That'll make it 12 years, which is more than enough actually and let's see if he will take a 1 million a week wage i think anyone would take that and he's happy with that so hopefully we've got him now for 12 years because that would make the most sense you know but of course we're playing fifa 19 career mode where there's a lot of things that don't make sense and this one is another one we've lost four years on his old deal because we renegotiated so like i said earlier the game doesn't actually treat it as an extension it only gives you the amount you put in the actual negotiation room so if you put two years you'll get a two-year contract and you'll lose six years on the deal and you can see how frustrating this would be for players that only have one year left on their contract so right now we have one front who is a guy who only has one year left I'm going to try and get a year out of him again when I negotiate, and I'm going to show you what, what actually happens. So currently, he's on a one-year deal, so if I add an extra one, it should make it two years, so you know I shouldn't have to worry. So hopefully he accepts that. Yes, he's happy with that. And you saw there, I actually gave one front an extra year, but like I said earlier, it doesn't count as an extension. It still gives him one year, so basically all we did was bump up his uh, wage, which is stupid. It should be now two years for one front. This next one comes in from Luke, and he has a complaint about player career mode. He says that he was a goalkeeper in player career mode, and he noticed that his goalkeeper never got injured. And, you know, goalkeepers get into collisions during corners when they're trying to collect the ball. Sometimes they get tackled accidentally. Uh, but, yeah, they never get injured. And some people online weren't actually, like, supporting this. They were happy that they don't get injured. I guess they're ultimate team players. But in terms of, like, career mode and stuff where we aim for realism... We would like to see maybe goalkeepers getting injured as well. I think I've seen goalkeepers getting injured during training. You know how you get that email about training injuries. But I've never seen them getting injured during the game. And I've played a lot of games in FIFA 19. Never seen the goalkeeper get injured once. And I'm guessing it's the same in player career mode as well. So I think the only way they can get injured is during training. This next one is an interesting one. And it comes in from PJ Lynch. He says the Irish League, which is called the Airtricity League, is played from February to November each year. But in FIFA 19 career mode, if you were to do a career mode in this league, it's going to be played the same as any other league, like the Premier League and stuff. So we're going to test this out. When I googled the Airtricity League, turns out it's actually going to start on the 16th of February. So let's load up career mode and let's see what we get. So we're currently with Bohemian FC, which is one of the teams in the Airtricity League. And you can see on the right-hand side scores and fixtures that it starts in August. So it should actually start in in february like you saw earlier but ea devs haven't paid attention to that let's take a look at the calendar really quick starts in august and then it should finish around may uh, let's take a look here there's not many games in this league actually like four games a month which is pretty light 
because it's played at the wrong time. That's why. But yeah, two games in May. Yeah, should not be doing that. It should be going from February to November. This next one comes from Robbie, and it's pretty funny, but it definitely does not make sense. He said he was playing as Celtic, and it was coming towards the end of the season. He only had two games left, but Rangers, who was coming in second, had three games. So he said, I'm only a point ahead, but the news is actually saying that I've already won the league, and I'm there with the trophy in a press conference. One of my two games that are left is against Rangers, so I'm just very confused. So obviously, the season is not done yet. Uh, Rangers have a game in hand. They're also one point behind at the moment. You can see on the calendar, there's two games left. And then in this photo, he's uh, coming first, but only by one point. And the season goes to 38 games. Celtic has 36, Rangers 35. So there's definitely room for a comeback there by Rangers. But if you take a look at the right, you can see the news tile there. It says Celtic crown champions of the Scottish Premiership. And then he says the season continued as normal. Rangers went and played their game in hand. And they actually won the game and overtook him on the table. You can see in that image... 36 games played, Rangers is on top by one point. And still on the right there, you can see the tile that says Celtic champions of the Scottish Premiership. And there's actually the trophy there, the manager doing the press conference. And obviously that is incorrect. That does not make sense because it's way too early to even crown the champions because they're still too close together. Like, I don't know why this comes up before you actually win the actual league. One of the biggest things that doesn't make sense in career mode at the moment is the fact that you can play like two or three games at the start of your career and all of a sudden you become a wanted man for international teams. This image was sent in by Zayan and he says that he was four games into a season. I think he was doing well in those four games. I think he racked up about 10 points or something. And after four games, he gets this article that says he's a wanted man for international teams. South Africa's interested and maybe some other teams as well will offer him a job. But the thing is, you've only had a four game career. Like... How can they make you an international manager, have that kind of confidence in you when you've only had a four-game career and you've racked up 10 points in four games? And you might say that South Africa is not the worst example, but I've seen ones where they get offered the France job, which is the current World Cup champions as well. So how does this make any sense? I don't know. So a few people have told me about this one, and the first bloke to do so was Julian. And he says that uh, Uruguay announced the team for South American Cup, but there is a bunch of European flags for countries like Italy, Spain, and Germany. There should be South American flags as this has nothing to do with Europe. And he's right. As you can see with the image, it's an article where it tells you the uh, squad for the South American Cup for Uruguay. And in the background there, you have the Spanish flags, the German flag, Italian flag, which is European countries. So what the hell are they doing in a South American based article? Just shows the laziness of EA and uh, the pretty generic images that they use, which doesn't make sense for half of the articles they actually put into career mode. So you guys are going to enjoy this one. This one was sent in by Harris, and he says, The player wants to go out on loan just in case he is needed later on in the season, but there is only two games left in the season, and he asks this in May. So this one is from Sergio Romero, the 20th of May 2020. Morning boss, since you're still not giving me a run in the team, I request to have a period out on loan so I can stay sharp in case I'm needed later on in the season. And we fast forward a little bit to the standings, and you can see there, 36 games played, and that's basically the end of the season. There's only two extra games left before it's over. So why does Romero want to go out on loan now just in case he's, he's needed later on in the season? I can't explain that. I, I just don't know anymore. Next up, we have a clip sent in by Eamon, and he says that the team lineups are not saving. And I think I experienced this once, but uh, I know a lot of people have been experiencing this issue as well. So let's take a look at the clip. He's got like a 4-2-3-1 formation going, and what he does, he makes a little change here. And Barpe um, goes to the right, Asensio goes in at Cam, and Dybala goes up top. And he presses yes to save the changes, and then once he backs out to the normal squad menu... It comes up with Neymar up top, Mbappe on the right, Dybala, Akem, and Asensio on the left side, which is definitely not what he saved. So here we have another example of the news tile getting it wrong. So this one was sent in by Rayan, and it says, Sterling expected to make debut. After playing his trade at Manchester City, will he be able to step up to the standards that will be expected of him? This could be his first game for Milan, so the fans and the manager will be looking forward to seeing how he goes. So this is an article based on Raheem Sterling going to AC Milan and obviously playing a game for Milan. And what do we get at the bottom of the article? We get a photo of Werner. All I can say is at least they got the club image right. So make sure you keep sending in your stuff for the Things That Don't Make Sense series. I do enjoy making these episodes. If you need something else to watch, make sure you click on the thumbnail right now. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, hit the VK icon underneath the thumbnail. And I'll see you next time.